Hi guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a makeup collection video. It was a request by my sweet friend Jeanette um, from Instagram. I met her through Instagram and she does follow me on YouTube as well. So hi Jeanette. Um, anyways, this is a makeup collection for blushes. So I'm doing a makeup collection for blushes today. I have quite a few, but I don't know. I have quite a few. I use them all, so, you know, obviously in different occasions, but it does. Anyway, I don't even know what I'm talking to you guys. I'm so tired. I, I, I know I look crusty as hell right now, but listen, I did a, I filmed this morning. I edited the video. I went ahead and rendered and posted everything all in one day. I had to do a hair color correction. That took forever and i cooked and now i'm here again so yes i am tired and i know i look crusty but it's all good um if you want to see the collection that i have of blushes keep watching oh don't forget to subscribe to my channel follow my other social media and watch my previous videos i'm gonna begin with bh cosmetics blushes here i have the san francisco collection the 10 color palette and the tulip duo in the San Francisco palette, you get four blushes and some eyeshadows. I do not like the eyeshadows, but the blushes are good and they all have a sheen to them. The 10 blush palette is a versatile palette. It has peaches and pinks and creams in both matte and iridescent shades. The pigment in them is decent. If anything, you can build them up. In the Tulip Duo, the peach shade is matte and the bronzy shade is iridescent. Here I have a Milani powdered blush. This one's called Romantic Rose, which I love the shade of it. These blushes are very soft and silky and very pigmented. So the following blushes are by Wet n Wild, Milani, and Elf. Here I'm showing you Apricot in the Middle by Wet n Wild. This one is Luminoso by Milani, and this one is a baked powdered blush. Here I have Heather Silk by Wet n Wild, as well as Mellow Wine, also by Wet n Wild. These blushes are all super pigmented. The last shade in this bunch is by e.l.f., and this one is called Mellow Mauve, and I have used the crap out of it because it's really good, and I love the shade. Alright, so let's move on to Ofra. I got this blush palette in a packet, so I don't have like names for each of them except for this one. This one is called Paradise Pink and it's really pretty and very pigmented. So on the palette, the blushes are also really pigmented and soft, including that bronzer. We have pinks and peaches and cream, also matte and iridescent shades. All right, so on this next batch, I have two City Color blushes, one by Studio Makeup, one by The Balm, and one by Benefit. This one is Guava by City Color B Matte Blush, and this one is Papaya also by City Color. Next, I have Coralista by Benefit. This is such a pretty shade for the spring and summertime. All right, so here we have Wildflower, and this one is by Studio Makeup. So the last one on this bunch is Cabana Boy by The Balm, and I like to use this one during the fall and winter months. All right, so for the next bunch, I have The Balm, MAC, NARS, Smashbox, and Makeup Geek. I'm gonna start with Cindy Luminizer by The Balm, which I guess is considered a highlight, but on me, it looks pretty as a blush. I really can't use it as a highlight because it doesn't do much for me. This is why I included this in my blush collection. It's very pretty and it gives you a nice shimmer, so I like to use this in the spring and summertime. Next, I have Cubic by MAC, which is a satin powdered blush. I love this shade. I can use this as an everyday blush. Here I have Orgasm by NARS, which is a super popular shade. I'm sure you've heard of it. It's very pretty, shimmery, and all that good stuff. Next, we have Smashbox. This one is called Hint of Bronze. I like to use this one on my bronzy days when I don't want any color and I just go in with this on my cheeks and it just gives me a nice glow. Here I have Rendezvous and XOXO by Makeup Geek. They're both really pigmented, beautiful blushes. All right, so let's move on to Tarte. I'm pretty sure you guys have already seen these palettes because I did an eyeshadow collection. If you haven't watched that video, I'll link that down below. Today we're gonna be looking at the blushes. I'm gonna start with the Gorgeous Getaway Portable Palette Collection, which is part of a Christmas collection. 
The first shade I'm showing you here is called Spontaneous, which is more of a really light peachy pinky shade. Very pretty and it does have a shimmer to it. Here we have the shade named Savvy. This one is a really soft rose shade. Right under Savvy, we have the shade named Ambitious. Ambitious is a mauve pink. And right next to Ambitious, we have the shade named Lighthearted. Lighthearted is a very pink shade. In the Rainforest After Dark palette, I have the shade called Unleashed. Unleashed is a soft mauve. Here I have the Classic Courage Double Duty Beauty Palette. Uh, this shade is called Courage. Courage is very pretty. It reminds me of Cubic by MAC, so I can wear this as an everyday shade as well. And here we have Glisten from the Poppy Picnic Amazonian Clay Eye and Cheek Palette. You can actually get Glisten on its own if you want it to. Glisten reminds me a lot of Orgasm by NARS. They're very similar shades. This is the end of the video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful or helpful to you in picking out shades for yourself. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Follow my other social media and watch my previous videos. And that's it, you guys. Now I get to take off all this makeup because I feel so greasy and crusty. I mean, it's been so, whew, it's been nine hours. So yes, I need to take this off now. Um, thank you for watching. Mwah! Until next time, my loves, hugs and kisses.